Hello, hello, it's Solwyn here. Let me present you a compilation of response for Paladins with level 90 and above. What is with that level 90 you may ask? A crystalline arrows. These are the most powerful arrows in the game when it comes to attack. 65 attack points. With this ammunition you are going to hunt better and faster. Level 90 is one of the milestones in Paladin's life. If you have not seen my previous episodes, there should be a pop-up in the upper right corner. I don't want to make this intro any bit longer. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's start. First spawn in this compilation, Zao Steps and High Class Lizards. If you have not, go and start Pow and Four task for these beasts. 800 lizards to kill. And you are going to get 3 points in return, plus the there is a lizard's boss to kill. Nevertheless, to get to the spawn you must pass the Zao Mountains. There are two ways of doing that. Just go straight ahead or the easiest one to use the teleport. I highly suggest finishing mission 8 of the new frontier quest. This is going to give you a permission to use the teleport. After going through the TP, the spot is right next to it. Just look at this map. About the lizards, you may face 4 types of lizards here. A legionnaire, high guard, dragon priest and zaogon. Legionnaires and guards are weak to ice damage, so you can bring avalanches if you want to. But what is really going to be useful here? Firewalls and fire bombs. Basically, any fire filled rune. Because every lizard expects Zaogon do not run on fire. They mostly, they mostly do the physical damage, so stack physical mitigation items. Legionnaire could deal up to 460 physical damage and guards. 260 physical damage and life drain up to 160. Take care and do not lure too many of them. Zao guns are spawning only in this area over here. There is a small fortress. At first I was running near the mountains and killing every monster I could find. You can follow this path or you can stay in this area near the small fortress if you are not afraid of Zao guns. I was getting around 450k per hour of experience. Sadly, I was usually finishing my hand with a waste. For supplies, take around 250 strong mana potions and for the rest capacity, as many arrows as you can. We stay in Zao. Next stop is just right next to pre previous spot. Fire Dragon Dojo, also known as Temple of Equilibrium. It is really close to the teleport. When it comes to spot access, it's the same as for high class lizards, the spot I showed you right before this one. I suggest finishing mission 8 of the new frontier quest to access the teleports. There is a shortcut which you can use to get there. On the floor plus one, use levitate spell to get down and there are hidden stairs behind the big ones. Quickly run to the next hall because there are many lizard chosens in this small room. Exactly, the lizard chosens are the ones we are going to hunt uh, in this spot. They are stronger than usual high class lizards and they deal mixed type of physical and earth damage. They could hit up to 300 physical damage and up to 450 earth damage. When you first come here I suggest going slowly in this spawn to get used to it. As usual there are two ways of hunting them. One by one all lure 3 to 4 and use AoE spells and runes. I was trying to hunt them one by one running across the firewall just like on this clip. Let me tell you a few words about the spawn first. This is the first hunting floor, beside this one you can use the stairs to get to the next ones, there are 5 in total, but trust me, when you hunt them one by one or even two at the same time, this floor should be good enough on this level. So put firewalls on the ground in the form of a letter T and keep shooting. What I love about this place is the loot, they drop so many valuable items, Zawan armor, legs and shoes. And you, if you are lucky enough, Zaoan Helmet. You could make some really nice profits over here. 
When it comes to experience, around 550k per hour, depending on your hunting style. And for the supplies, take as many arrows as you can, around 15 to 20 firewalls and 250 strong mana potions should be good enough. The third spot, and we are still staying in Zhao, this time yellow taxes. You don't need any quest access to get here, but it's worth to mention that this hunting ground is part of the mage tower world change. Long story short, there need to be killed 2000 yellow taxes and it counts all the kills from the world. When that happens, raging mage can be killed. But to be able to get the rewards from the boss, you need to kill at least 250 yellow taxes by yourself. If all that happens, the portal will collapse until the next save server. So few words about the monsters. Yellow taxes are vulnerable to physical damage, ice and energy. 10% sounds great, it's perfect for knights and paladins. Sadly, they deal a lot of damage, so prepare yourself. Up to 200 physical damage and they could drain up to 260 life and 150 mana. Try not to fight against more than 3 monsters at the same time. I prefer to hunt here with AoE style. 2, 3 monsters and use mass sun, plus throw avalanches. There are two floors in here, I was hunting on the second floor in this area, there are plenty space to run. When you clear that area you can always go up and wait for the spawn and hunt some more during that time on the first floor. You shouldn't be wasting that much because they drop a lot of gold and valuable items. Yes, I loot all the gold I could carry. Please do not judge me. Beside gold, they also drop might rings, lightning legs and many more. Because of the might rings, I was usually endi ending my hunt with a profit. You may want to check the price of the might rings on the market before coming here. About the experience, around 550k per hour also is quite good in my opinion. For supplies, 250 strong mana potions and 400 crystalline arrows should be good enough. I also suggest taking a few spirit potions. Let's move on to the last spot, Kralos, Nightmare Scions cave on the north coast on Kralos. You can get there from Venor's boat. The reason why I picked this spot are task points. You can start the task for killing 400 monsters. The best part is that beside normal nightmares, Scions are also being included to this task. So in total there are three types of monsters which we are going to kill in this cave, Nightmare Scion, Undead Gladiator and Nightmare. Prepare some physical mitigation items because they mostly deal physical damage, especially undead gladiators, as they have me melee and distance attacks, both dealing physical. On the other hand, Scions could throw poison balls and hit with death. Elin Draken Helmet or Zawan Helmet are the best in slot in my opinion. Also Butterfly Ring could be quite useful in here. When it comes to map layout, I was just cleaning the first floor and it was sufficient for me. Throwing firewalls or bombs in these corridors is really useful because nightmares run away on low health, which you may find annoying when first coming here. 
Over time it should get better and you will get used to it. Be careful when entering those rooms because you may be surprised by the amount of monsters coming at you and they are deadly in bigger groups. During my half an hour hunt I was wasted around 270 strong mana potions and 50 avalanches. About the ammunition 500 prismatic arrows. For the experience you can expect up to 500k per hour or even more if you master the layout. And that's it for this episode, I hope you found this short list useful. I wonder what spots are your favorites on this level range, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one, bye!